Hi there, Trevor Duncan with Cell Seattle and CellSeattle.com. Appreciate you tuning in to our YouTube channel today. As you know, we provide procedures on how to reset different types of phones. And today we'll be working with an Android phone. It's the T-Mobile Samsung T939, also well known as the Samsung Behold 2. And let's talk a little bit about why you might want to reset your phone. If you're getting ready to give it to somebody else, or you want to recycle it or sell it to someone you'll want to make sure that you've removed all of your personal data and in order to do that we're going to do the master reset and the first step we need to just unlock the screen here and your screen might look a little different if you've personalized it but we need to get into the main menu so I'm going to go ahead and touch here and from the main menu you're going to choose the icon that says settings and then using your finger just scroll down the list and there's an option here that says reset settings you will want to touch that and we have a couple choices of reset settings or master reset we're going to select master reset and at this point you'll be prompted for a password or a new password if you know what yours is go ahead and enter it now this phone doesn't have a password so I'm going to set it to one that's easy to remember just one two three four we'll enter that and confirm it it asks us to retype so one two three four confirm and now a screen pops up and it's prompting us with a question mark reset setting now at this point if you haven't already you would want to make sure that you've gone through your Google account um, checked your message inbox and backed up any photos, contacts, or personal information that you do not want to lose during the reset. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and press yes. And the phone tells us not to touch any buttons, that it's going to go ahead and reset. And the screen goes dark, that is normal. Now it's come back to the Behold 2 and this might take a moment or two while it cycles and then we'll come back up to our home screen so while we're waiting let me tell you a little bit about our company and what we do at Cell Seattle we responsibly recycle used cell phones and when I say recycle that could mean one of three things either your phone is in perfectly good working condition and we can accept it on your behalf and resell it to someone else here in the United States or perhaps there's one or two issues with your phone. Maybe the screen is cracked, um, you're having some hardware or software problems. We'll accept that phone and we'll match it up with a refurbisher that can restore the phone to its original condition and then they can resell it. The third option, if your phone is completely damaged or beyond the point of economical repair, we work with a facility in Seattle called Total Reclaim and they actually recycle phones for their bare components so they go in there and they can reclaim things like gold silver copper circuit boards and those items can be used to remanufacture new products so it's very important that you do not throw cell phones away in the garbage and the reason is that they have a lot of highly toxic chemicals in them things ranging from lead, mercury, lithium, arsenic. We've all heard of arsenic, and we certainly don't want that leaking into our landfills and subsequently our drinking water. So please, if you have a cell phone and you're done with it and you're not sure what to do with it, visit our website, cellseattle.com. We can help you get some materials to get that phone sent in to be responsibly recycled. And in the meantime, we've already completely cycled through the stick together T-Mobile home screen we're back now at the Samsung home screen and this might take another moment or two to load but you can be assured at this point that the phone has been fully reset and your personal data will have been erased so I appreciate you tuning in again on YouTube Trevor Duncan here and I hope you have a great 